All right, folks, you're gonna hear a lot of references from my Ford Focus, because that's the car I own. Um, I really wanted to try driving this. This is a auto transmission, all right? And it's a sports car, it's a GTI. Um, I'm not the auto type of guy. I do like the manual transmissions, so I thought I'd give this a shot. My buddy said he, he would let me drive it. And I gotta tell you, I was really impressed. Would I get an automatic transmission? I don't think so, but um it does shift relatively nice it downshifts um it's very smooth it is a great daily driver and very sporty at the same time this is a real short drive i i received tons of phone calls during this uh filming so i just thought i'd throw this together and give you my general impressions of the vehicle and uh this guy's going to give us a little walk through the interior hope you guys enjoy this thank you all right, so this is a 2015 yes. GTI base model, right? Yep. Cool. Look at that. Something I initially can tell. I have a Focus ST, and you know I love it. <clears throat> this thing is really nice inside. The quality is outstanding, amazing. It really is. Definitely better than my Focus, in my opinion. Definitely. Steering wheel's nice. Boy, you got a lot of room too. Oh yeah. Look at that. So this is the first time I've ever driven anything like this. So what do you got up here? You got like your, it's got a little wrench symbol. What does that mean? That's a, a maintenance problem. You come up with a, a maintenance problem. You hit that and it'll come up and ask you if you need help, it'll log it. Um, just the same as the SOS, like in an emergency. Uh, this will call for your roadside assistance once you have set it up. And your sunglasses are mm -hmm. nice. Man, the quality is really nice. Um, all of the lighting inside is all LED. It's really nice, it's white, it's clean at night. Um, nice. Along these strips here, you obviously can't see it because it's daytime right now, but all underneath this is a red LED light oh, that the whole cool. time the car, and it also is on the running board of the front of the vehicle. There'll, there will be LED lighting also underneath the handles. Oh, nice. Inside where the handle goes itself is illuminated at night in these pockets and under here so that you know where your, your hand grip is You know, at. a lot of people say they don't care about that kind of stuff. But it's so soft but it and it so looks good. it is so soft and so nice. I mean, my Focus has it, and mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, it lights up. The essentials, very classy. Yep. Uh, inside the glove box. Is this box. open too? Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yep. It has a has the built-in iPod and everything for that. Uh, comes with it. The glove box is what many people don't know about it. There's a little vent right here. It's a knob that opens and closes. That will vent either whatever you're running. If you're running heat or AC, so you can put your drinks, a sandwich, whatever in there, and open that up and let it AC vent whatever you've got in here, so it doesn't overheat. That is cool. Um, that's where you your, get your, your disc changer, your uh, your SD card, the really info nice. station, I guess is what they will call that it. That is clean. I like how they did that. And then you have nothing yep. important in here, right? Nope. Pretty sweet. They just kept everything in the glove box. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot of room in the back from what I see. You know, you got two baby seats in there. Mm -hmm. So you got a family or family man. Of course. The armrest is also adjustable. Um, this comes, let me see how it's done, I haven't done it in a long time, but it can come up and down and it stays in that lock position, so oh, you I don't gotcha. have to, and I haven't done it enough to know exactly the but best it, way. What I do. noticed is it's built really solid, you got AC vents back mm -hmm. here too, which yep. is really nice. The in interior of these is just awesome, it really is. That mode button, when you press it and hold it, it comes up and it gives you a driving selection on how you would like to drive the vehicle. On the upper, the upper models, the, uh, the better additions, I guess you would say. You can get it, you can individualize it. You can select your sport mode, but individual will let you dampen your adjustment for your throttle, your all of your responses, your steering, you can go sport mode, your suspension will soften on its own or harden up depending on how you're wow. going to drive it. Um, so all of those things are customizable. Um, now you, you can, with this model, hitting sport will put you in sport mode when you go to drive or when you go to drive it, you can take it into drive and then just simply touch backwards and it'll put it in sport. So this is an automatic basically? Yes. It's an automatic, but if you look at um, what DSG actually is, is it's, it's built just like a manual transmission. It has two clutches in it and a computer runs uh, even gears and another computer run odds gears and they work together based on your throttle response of when they will initiate those gears. Oh, neat. All right, so let's take a short drive. Sport mode wow, inside. real touchy. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's got some uh, a nice uh, adjustment for the gas pedal. Nice. I'm going to take a left, I think. 
Now are we in sport mode now? No, you're yes, you're in sport mode. I'm in sport mode. So this is this is the, the highest performance that this car has got. So can you disable the You can disable your traction control. Okay. Um, it also ha it has built-in launch control. If you're in sport mode and you hold the brake and you press the gas, it will bring it to the optimum RPM and then you let off and it'll launch. Wow, that's pretty sweet. But you will also notice in this vehicle, you'll notice that that comment I made about it being a manual, generally built like a manual transmission because it, as you go down and you slow down, it will downshift at high RPM, just like you would if you were in a manual car right. when you're racing. It tries to keep you in that good boost mode. Feels very nice. I'm not a manual kind of guy, but right. it, it seems like it's... Against the manual version, the DSG is, is a much faster shifting and better responding transmission than the manual version. Wow, it downshifts car. really nice. I like that a lot. little softer more comfortable I would say than the focus a little softer less sporty when it comes to um, the steering a little less I think they said a little less we you know right. um, it's not quite as sharp but I would say comfort wise if I was gonna pick a daily driver I would uh, hands down just from this short drive I'd pick this over my car the shifting is fantastic. It really does it nice. I think my wife would like this car a lot. She really would. She likes a sporty car. Right, and all that all that sporty suspension that you were talking about, you can get with the upper models. Like I said, that that adjustable dampening is available for the higher end model. Well, Due to rush hour, we really can't test this vehicle like we want to. Something I do notice is you can hear the engine, how it hangs up there. Um, that would be something that I would have to get used to because, like I said, I'm, I'm a stick kind of guy. But I went around these turns over here, and I was talking too much for you guys to hear it. But you can hear it. Right I really like how this car downshifts. I'm a really busy guy. Um, so anyway, it holds these downshifts really nice. And I'm not doing anything. I'm not using the paddles. But this thing really moves good. And I might get on it for about 10 feet. How about that? But I don't want to get arrested because we happen to be on a secure facility. So I'm not going to break the speed limit. All right? So I will uh, go to the speed limit just quickly. How about that? All right. So we're uh, at a roll right here. Was kind of this thing moves um, I can just tell you guys I'm really happy with this vehicle if you guys are into uh, automatics I'm gonna recommend this automatic it's fantastic you guys I've, you've seen the interior I showed you the outside um, check out this vehicle take one for a test drive um, I've never really driven very many automatics but if I had to pick one I might take this turn it's gonna hold this gear I'm off the gas pedal. I'm on the gas pedal. Oh man, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, yeah, this is a pretty sweet car. That's really all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and uh, subscribe later.